Uh, this is mine. anything advanced so most of this is improvisation <laughs> anyway so let me begin by saying that everything that's happening now is completely undemocratic right from when Theresa May became Prime Minister she wasn't elected by us the people it was a hung parliament when she stood down very much later on after messing up all negotiations there were two candidates, there was Jeremy Hunt and there was Boris Johnson. Now, 0.1% of our population was then asked, who's going to be our next Prime Minister? 0.1%. And this 0.1% support reinstating the death penalty. And they say, we have to leave the European Union no matter what the cost may be. 60% say we can let Scotland go, 75% say we can let Northern Ireland go, if it means we leave the European Union. Nothing about this is democratic. Nothing about this is right. Boris Johnson looks at Parliament as if it's an obstacle in his path to absolute power. All Boris Johnson is in politics for is power. And power is not how we should be sorting out Brexit. Instead, the voice of every British person must be heard. And opposition is growing. However, some politicians refuse to see this opposition. We are not this silent opposition, we are the vocal opposition. That is why we are here protesting in Cambridge, in London and all across the United Kingdom. They want us to leave without a deal. And Boris Johnson said, we don't need to worry about a no deal during the referendum because we'll get a great deal. Well, he has since been proven wrong. It has been proven now that those people who are not old enough to vote in the referendum, most of that age bracket would now vote to remain. And a little darker, some of the people that voted to leave may have uh, kicked the bucket. So, we have to have this second referendum. We need to put power back to the people where it should be, because Parliament is the establishment of democracy and of the people. So, Thank you very much. Um, is there anyone else who wants to say a word? Would you like? Okay, please come forward. I'm Millie. Uh, I'm one of the people mentioned who was too young to vote in the election. I'm uh, actually 17. I'm now 20. Um, most people my age aren't really bothered about politics anymore. I think. Everyone I know my age has lost absolute faith in any of the politicians and any of the stuff that's going on. I said to my friends, I was going to this protest today and they were like, so what? We don't have any power. The government don't care about us, is the feeling I have. Um, I'll say now, as a 20 year old, I, you know, I have a reasonable <laughs> perspective in the world. Uh, uh, yeah, I wasn't allowed to vote for what's happening. Obviously, none of us knew what was going to happen. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm a bit ashamed and sad to be British at the moment and I just don't feel like the government cares um, and it's very sad and that's why we're protesting. Um, and yeah, I want a government that people my age can have faith in them. Just what I want to do. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 um, I think we've got a room for one more and then we'll have a ride actually. So if you... uh, David Grace. Some people have asked me uh, why today I'm wearing a Union Jack as well as a European flag. And for a very simple reason. Yeah. Because today it is British democracy that is under threat. 
Our parliament is very weak in many ways. It cannot decide. It cannot decide its own comings and goings. It is the Queen who decides, but of course that means Boris, the Parliament will be prorogued. The European Parliament cannot be told by anybody when it's going to meet, it decides for itself. No minister, the European Commission, they can't tell them, oh you're prorogued. They can't do it. European democracy works better than British democracy. Yeah, yeah. And next week, next week we will see our Parliament struggling struggling by, by unusual methods to control its own timetable. Why do we have a parliament that cannot control its own timetable? What kind of parliament is that? Again, the European Parliament decides its own timetable. European democracy works better than British democracy. And if by the end of next week, as I fear, our parliament cannot actually stop prorogation because they don't have that power, they must take a lesson from the French. In 1789, <laughs> King Louis XVI tried to dissolve the Estates General. And what did the Third Estate do? They walked across Versailles to the tennis court and they took an oath that they would not be dissolved. And that's what our parliamentarians do. They must walk across Parliament Square and continue to meet elsewhere. We have been fighting for a long time to remain part of the European democracy. Now we have to fight to remain part of the British democracy as well. that the Methodist Central Hall Olds has quite the same ring as the tennis court, the tennis court hall. But, uh, but I think, yeah, certainly I think that's, um, there are several MPs who've already said they're going to do that, so I think that's definitely the end of cards. Um, Our next speaker, and I'm terribly rude and forgetting his name, is uh, Hugh Jones, who's uh, a Labour um, parliamentary uh, prospective candidate for uh, South East Camps. I'm not from Cambridge, I'm from the countryside outside Cambridge. It's a very different world out there, where the politics are different. But I stood on the platform in 2015 with Lucy Fraser during the hustings, and she promised she would represent the views of her constituents as represented in the referendum. Now, however you slice and dice the maths, South East Cambridge is a Remain constituency. She's determined, for the sake of her career, to maintain an absolute no-deal Brexit because that's what her leader has told her we should do. Shame. Shame. Now, Mr. Grace gave us the example of the French parliamentarians during the French Revolution, and there have been a number of pledges from British parliamentarians now to carry on meeting. And I'd like everyone now to try and pledge that they will protect and support those parliamentarians in every non-violent means they can. 